Okay, next trailer I'm going to check out is for Army of Thieves. This is a spinoff of characters or one of the characters in Army of the Dead. Zack Snyder's horrible zombie movie that came out on Netflix. I'm still very upset about that ridiculous writing in the movie. But one of the characters that I enjoyed was the Safecracker. And so they made this movie about him. I don't know if Zach's directing it. I feel a little bit jaded by my disappointment um, in what he did with Army of the Dead. I loved Justice League, Zack Snyder's Justice League, but Army of the Dead was just like, ugh, terrible. But I'm curious to see if this is going to be an improvement. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to watch the movie. Honestly, that, that's how annoyed I am by Army of the Dead. But let's just check out the trailer and uh, see what's going on here. Ready, set, and crack! Ludwig Dietrich. Huh, I, almost, I said a safe crapping. <laughs> I was gonna say, trying to say safe cracking competition. I said safe crapping. Okay. All right. Why does it jumps to the volume when I mean to go backwards? Okay. And crack! Ludwig Dieter. Safe cracker extraordinaire. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner! We've been watching you. I belong to a crew that executes international bank heists. I belong to recruit you. Why me? I am not criminal. The world's distracted. This window of opportunity isn't just our only chance, it's yours. My own chance for what? A life less ordinary. I'd like you to meet the team. Karina, our master hacker. Rolf, our getaway driver. And last but not least, our very own real life action hero, Mr. Brad Cage. So is it like in a movie film where each one of us has a different skill set and it's only working together that we can pull off that which needs the pulling off? Mm -hmm. Yes. Pull off it's that exactly which needs like that. the pulling off. <laughs> We've assembled from various sources the locations of the three saves. The Rheingold. The Valkyrie. The Siegfried. All of them are under the ownership of infamous billionaire Balai Tanaka. Now, again. Any questions? No. Yes, many. Hundreds. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I touched him. Thank you very much. Go, go, go! Let's move! This is about becoming legends. What are you doing? I'm warming up my instruments. <laughs> okay, who's going to direct this thing? That's what I want to know. So, yeah, I want to know who's going to direct this thing. I, I, I'm just, I'm still so miffed about what happened with the other I, I'm, I'm gonna wait i'm probably gonna wait but you know what no i thought army of the dead reviews got got kind of um they went down once people started watching it now i need to feel like i sometimes i feel like sometimes i can't even trust audience reviews because sometimes i diverge from what the audience thinks not most of the time that's not the case but i kind of feel like i want to wait to see how the audience feels about it before I decide whether I'm going to take the time to watch this thing. I don't want to watch it and it'd be ridiculous like the other film. So, but I did like the character. I mean, he, he was one of my, one of my favorites, the safe cracker. I like the helicopter pilot too, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it looks like, it, it looks like kind of, you know, typical sort of heist film. I'm not really hugely into heist films. I know Army of the Dead was a heist film, but the thing that drew me to it was it was about zombies and it was, you know, whatever. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's not up there on my list of 
top favorite types of films to watch. But the character will be what draws me to it if I watch it. So, okay, not much more to say. I've got one more little teeny tiny teaser-ish trailer thing that I want to check out. So I'm going to conclude this for now. Later, guys. Mm -hmm.